Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and esteemed members of the Maritime Administration and the United States Merchant Marine Academy community. Welcome to the installation ceremony for Rear Admiral Upper Half David M. Wolf, United States Maritime Service, as our new Deputy Superintendent. I'm Captain Tony Serralo, Chief of Staff of the United States Merchant Marine Academy, and I will serve as your Master of Ceremonies this morning. We are privileged to have joining us today through video conferencing and in person, our Maritime Administrator, the Honorable Ann C. Phillips, Rear Admiral, United States Navy, retired. Deputy Maritime Administrator, Tamika Flack, the Executive Director of the Maritime Administration, Mr. Jack Kammerer, and the Superintendent of the United States Merchant Marine Academy, Vice Admiral Joanna Noonan, United States Maritime Service. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to our honored guests. Before we commence, let us acknowledge the presence of Admiral Wolf's family members, his wife, Debbie Stone Wolf, who is here in person, his daughters Jocelyn and Charlotte Wolf, and his mother, Miss Judy Wolf, who are watching the ceremony virtually. Their steadfast support has been instrumental on his journey to today, where he assumes a position of great responsibility. Your presence, whether physically here or watching virtually, is deeply appreciated. Now let us proceed to the ceremony. We will begin with remarks from our Maritime Administrator, followed by Vice Admiral Noonan, the Superintendent of the Academy. It is my honor to introduce our Maritime Administrator, Rear Admiral Ann C. Phillips, United States Navy retired, for her remarks on this significant occasion. Admiral Phillips. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Tony. Just a video audio check. Can you all hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm honored to be here with all of you uh, virtually and, uh, and wish you uh, a wonderful day. We have the sun out here in Washington, D.C. It's, uh, it's clear, it's chilly, it's a perfect winter day. Abel Noonan, uh, Acting Provost, Captain Warnicke, Commandant, and formerly Acting Deputy Superintendent Mike Stroud, and of course, Chief of Staff Tony Sorallo, and the many distinguished guests who are joining us this morning. Thank you for being here. Uh, and to Admiral Noonan, ma'am, thank you for setting up this ceremony to honor and acknowledge uh, Dave's uh, past service in his long career in government and his future service uh, for the Merchant Marine Academy, which we are very, very excited about. Uh, I'd also like to thank Dave's family who are there. Again, uh, his wife, Debbie Stone Wolf, ma'am, will meet in person eventually, soon, I hope. Uh, and his daughters who are joining virtually, Jocelyn and Charlotte, and his mother, Miss Judy Wolf, thank you all for joining the ceremony today virtually. If you look at the virtual list of folks there, and I apologize if I look like the great and powerful Oz on your screen, hopefully that's not the case, but you'll see a very long list of folks participating, particularly for the Maritime Administration. That is because this is a team effort we work with the Academy in support of their needs to ensure health, welfare, safety of midshipmen, and that the academic infrastructure and other requirements we need, that the Academy needs to be able to train midshipmen uh, are there and are in place and are in place in a continuous and, and planned and, and certified way, authorized and appropriated to use congressional terms. Um, it's very important for the future of the maritime industry and the midshipmen at the Merchant Marine Academy are our future for this industry. So they play a tremendous uh, role in the future of this nation as a maritime nation, and we, we think that is job one here at MARAD, their safety and security, first and foremost. I would also like to thank, again, as I get started, um, Captain Mike Stroud for taking on the role, Commandant Mike Stroud, for taking on the role of Deputy Superintendent for low these many months. Uh, it, is, it is a team effort, certainly, it took uh, taking doing two jobs for the price of one is not easy. Certainly his family had to deal with that as well. And I want to thank you again, uh, Commandant Stroud for taking that on and, and for supporting the midshipmen, the faculty, the staff, and Admiral Noonan and, and her team and us here at Team Marad in that capacity. So thank you. A round of applause please for, for Commandant Stroud. Thank you, sir. So as you are well aware, uh, Rear Admiral Wolf received his actual commission in the United States Maritime Service officially when he joined the Maritime Administration on the 17th of December after many years of distinguished leadership and service at the Department of Treasury and Homeland Security. 
Uh, today, we're honoring him by doing a formal installation ceremony, which is military custom and tradition. Uh, and we would like to, again, emphasize the, the essential nature of his work and his decision to come and support, be a part of the U.S. Marching Academy. So as a little a little about his past, uh, because it's fascinating. As you are, many of you are aware, he comes from the Department of Treasury most recently, Alcohol, Tobacco, Tax and Trade Bureau from December 2020 until this past December, three years in that capacity, where he oversaw approximately $20 billion a year in federal alcohol, tobacco, and firearms and ammunition excise taxes, of all of which is to say he knows his way around financing budget and uh, money in general, which is tremendously helpful to us at the Academy. He also has served uh, for the Department of Homeland Security as the Associate Director for Chemical Security and Cybersecurity and Infrastructure at the Infrastructure Security Agency. From 2017 to 2018, he also served as that department's Acting Deputy Assistant Secretary for Infrastructure Protection. He has led a wide range of initiatives at DHS, including a very challenging national implementation of the Chemical Facility Anti-Terrorism Standards Program, CFATS, some of you may know of it. Uh, which is regulatory work and involves Dave leading a team of security specialists and inspectors to assess high-risk chemical facilities around the country. Uh, to this point, he knows his way around safety, he knows his way around security, and he knows his way around facilities and infrastructure. He's also had the honor of testifying before Congress 15 times, in some cases in very high-stakes congressional hearings, so he knows his way around the Hill. And, and in that, that, in the context of CFATS and a number of other uh, in, items of interest to, to Congress in particular. And he's also worked with the elections community to establish an election infrastructure sector coordinating council to ensure and enhance cybersecurity protections for voting systems in jurisdictions around the nation, which means he has some exposure to cyber, cybersecurity, and infrastructure. Again, all very important to the Merchant Marine Academy. He's also worked uh, through his work at DHS on the national, nation's national essential critical infrastructure workforce during the COVID-19 crisis uh, to reiterate he knows his way around the interagency. So he's also served at ATF, which I mentioned in a number of capacities, one of which I believe, uh, Admiral Wolf, sir, you'll have to correct me, involved overseeing uh, canine training facilities for ATF in some capacity, and uh, guess what? You like dogs? We can do dogs, we got dogs. We got dogs at the academy, so, um, so it all comes together. It all comes together. Uh, Dave's originally from Massachusetts. He's a graduate of Georgetown University and has a law degree from Emory, which he maintains, although uh, we might say that he's joining the ranks of recovering or recovered lawyers. Uh, and, and I think most importantly, um, I personally would like to thank him for taking on, in spite of his long career in federal service, his vast experience with 12 years as a senior executive uh, service leader, which by the way, he still is a senior executive service leader in his current capacity, um, for, for stepping outside of his comfort zone and taking on something completely new. Dave, thank you uh, for your courage in, in taking on this new, uh, assignment in your life. Thank you to your wife uh, for agreeing to come along with you in this in this new adventure. Uh, thank you for having the, the uh, giving up, bringing us the honor of bringing your knowledge, skills, and abilities, and putting them towards something totally new. And that is working with the fantastic midshipmen, faculty, and staff at the Merchant Marine Academy to ensure, really, uh, the economic and national security needs of our nation are met by bringing new, qualified licensed, unlimited licensed third mates and third engineers into the system. And you only have to spend a few minutes with midshipmen to know what great people they are, and that will make every day shine for you up there, I think. So thank you. Thank you for taking this on. Thank you for your, to your family. Uh, and congratulations to you for taking this on as well. And I'll turn it over to Vice Admiral Noonan and her team uh, to, to take it away from here. Uh, but we look forward to meeting again in person soon. And congratulations again on behalf of the entire greater Merchant Marine Academy and Maritime Administration community. Thank you. Thank you, Admiral Phillips. Uh, I'd like to now introduce the Fortune Superintendent of the United States Merchant Marine Academy, Vice Admiral Joanna Noonan. Thank you, Tony.
And thank you so much, Admiral Phillips. Those were uh, great remarks that you really sort of put the whole thing in perspective. We appreciate your leadership uh, at Merritt and as our Commandant of the U.S. Maritime Service. So thank you for making this event special for Dave and his family. Welcome to the whole team that's here and online. So good morning, everybody, and welcome to the moment we have been waiting for the installation of the United States Merchant Marine Academy's new Deputy Superintendent, Mr. and in a matter of moments, Rear Admiral David Wolf, who joins us after distinguished tenures at the Departments of Homeland Security and Treasury. Dave made his first rounds on campus upon reporting aboard in December, but today he finally rolls up his sleeves. He is being commissioned a two-star Rear Admiral in the Maritime Service and will join me immediately in overseeing every aspect of academy operations. His expertise is in organizational management and team building. At DHS, he led a number of initiatives to address threats to chemical facilities and election infrastructure. In other words, to combat some of the most significant and novel threats to our national security, Dave Wolf created task forces and processes that have never before existed in government. At King's Point, he will similarly invigorate operations internal and external. A year ago, when I assumed the position of superintendent, I promised the King's Point community an administrative team like the 1927 New York Yankees, Murderer's Row. Right now, it's coming together. Wolf, Sorallo, McPherson, Schnatz, Zatwernicki, Stroud, McCarthy, and more. We are looking for our provost, but I know what I'm after. Steady hands and an ability to send curveballs into the upper decks. It is time to heighten our expectation at King's Point. Leadership is not simply responding to crises or lamenting inefficiencies. We will no longer merely allow circumstances to dictate our actions. Leadership at King's Point will create the circumstances that shape campus life. The tide has turned. The varsity team will be playing ball. Today, I announced that in keeping with the United States Merchant Marine Academy's strategic plan, we will be conducting thorough reviews of every aspect of Academy operations, budget and business practices, facilities, academics, admissions, the regiment, human resources, campus culture, and public affairs. We will examine our priorities and processes, all to maximize King's Point's potential as an institution, which I promised a year ago, and simply put, for the professionals on campus to meet the standards we demand of our midshipmen. In the days ahead, Rear Admiral Wolf and I will discuss with you what this entails. This team has been showing signs of greatness. I am particularly proud of Jay-Z, Captain Zatwernicki, for the way he has filled the role of provost over the last several months, as well as the way in which Captain Michael Stroud and Commander Drew McCarthy have gone above and beyond the call of duty in filling the roles of Deputy Superintendent and Commandant of Midshipmen, respectively. We have been sending a lot of shots into the upper decks. Now, Wolf joins the bullpen. Let's settle down and find the strike zone. We will change history. Thank you, Admiral Noonan. At this time, I invite Admiral Wolf and Mrs. Stonewolf to come forward for formal part of the installation. I'm Wolf. It's getting way too much right now. I ask that all attendees stand as we prepare for the installation of Rear Admiral Wolf as Deputy Superintendent of the Academy. I will now read the installation certificate 
as we are a wolf's wife and Avril Noonan pin on his stars, symbolizing the responsibilities and duties he is about to assume. Following the reading of the installation certificate, we'll take a moment to capture the significant milestone with a few photographs. Attention installation. The United States Maritime Administration, United States Maritime Service. This is to certify that the United States Maritime Administrator has appointed David Wolf. I do hereby appoint this officer as a Rear Admiral Upper Half in the United States Maritime Service to rank from the 17th day of December 2023. This officer is therefore carefully and diligently to discharge the duties of such office by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto belonging. And all officers and seamen under this officer's command are strictly charged and required to be obedient to this officer's orders. And this officer is to observe and follow such orders and directions from time to time as this officer shall receive from the Commandant, the United States Maritime Service, or superior officers set over this officer according to the rules and regulations of the United States Maritime Service. Done at the city of Washington, D.C., this 17th day of December, in the year of our Lord, 2023, and the independence of the United States of America, the 247th. Signed, the Honorable Ann C. Phillips, Rear Admiral, United States Navy Retired, Maritime Administrator, and Commandant, United States Maritime Service. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. You, and it's had like JW on your face. So. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Awesome. Admiral Noonan will now administer the oath of office to Admiral Wolf. I state your name. I, David Wolf. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of which I'm about to enter. The duties of the office of which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. With the, you may be seated. With the administration of the oath, I am pleased to present to you the Deputy Superintendent of the United States Merchant Marine Academy, Rear Admiral David M. Wolf, United States Maritime Service. All right. Thank you. My gosh, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Tony, uh, Admiral Noonan, Admiral Phillips. Um, all of you uh, really, really appreciate your all being here, uh, both in the room and I assume still on the uh, yes. on the video. Okay, um, awesome. Uh, though I would uh, just like to note for the record, um, Admiral Newton, that is a lifelong uh, Red Sox, Boston Red Sox fan. <laughs> um, it may take me a little while to wrap my head around my place in a uh, you know, historical reference to the 1927 Yankees and Murderers Row. Um, but you know those uh, those quibbles aside, uh, yeah, I have to say there's no question whatsoever that this is a truly uh, amazing team that you have assembled here at uh, at Kings Point uh, with a uh, and then, you know supremely creative, thoughtful, and galvanizing uh, leader at the helm. Um, we have in uh, in Admiral Newton, so I am super excited to be uh, to be here and to be part of uh, all of that. Uh, I'm extraordinarily excited uh, as well to have been given the opportunity to commission into the United States Maritime Service and to wear this uh, this uniform. Uh, it is truly just such a, a privilege and an honor, and it was uh, absolutely a highlight of my career when Jack Hammer handed me uh, the commissioning certificate signed by, uh, by Admiral Phillips uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, there are so many people I would like to, uh, like to thank uh, to include all of you here in the room, everyone on the, uh, the video link today, um, but I would be remiss uh, to not specifically thank uh, you, Admiral Phillips, 
uh, of course, for the very kind words for bringing me into the, uh, to the Marad fold, to the fold of the Academy uh, and uh, the fold of the United States Maritime Service. Uh, of course, I want to thank you, Admiral, Admiral Noonan. I so appreciate the confidence you have placed uh, in me and the warm welcome into this community that you and Tom have, uh, have shown to me and, uh, and to Debbie. Uh, and I have such a special honor to be wearing uh, your stars on my, uh, on my collars. Um, Jack Kammerer, appreciate uh, your guidance throughout this process uh, over the last several months, your efforts to uh, orient me to, uh, to Marriott. I know more to come. Uh, and of course, for the uh, super fun shopping spree uh, <laughs> with uh, Chris Moore at Henderson Hall, another, another highlight. Uh, <laughs> Captain Mike Stroud. Uh, it was eye-opening, Anderson Hall, I have to say. Everything but like the orange, uh, orange Julius. Uh, Captain Mike Stroud, uh, thank you for your service over the past uh, few months in the deputy uh, superintendent role and for helping me uh, to get squared away on all things uh, Kings Point. Uh, Captain Tony Serralo, I've uh, been just a great guiding light uh, across the board on uh, on the maritime service, on military customs and courtesies, uh, and of course, thank you for emceeing uh, today. Uh, of course, uh, Lisa Ross Uribe, Cindy Flynn for help, helping me to get up and running uh, in the short time that I have been here, uh, and in Lisa's case, really for the uh, the month or two leading up uh, to my arrival. Really appreciate that. Um, Thanks, of course, to my amazing wife, Debbie. Uh, it's been so supportive across my uh, various professional adventures. I am pretty sure this is going to be the biggest uh, adventure yet uh, for <laughs> both of us. Uh, and I will say that Debbie and I are both so happy uh, to be joining this amazing Kings Point uh, community. Uh, and on the video link, I also want to note how much I appreciate seeing our daughters, uh, Jocelyn. Uh, Charlotte may not be uh, on here, our younger uh, daughter. She's on the top of a mountain uh, somewhere, but she will watch the replay for sure. Um, and uh, both, uh, both of them will be kicking around uh, campus at, uh, at some point. Looking forward uh, to your meeting, uh, meeting them. Uh, as well, I want to thank my mom, uh, Judy, up in my hometown of Peabody, uh, Massachusetts, waiting for uh, you know, Red Sox opening day. <laughs> Uh, so I, I will say that uh, from the first time Debbie and I uh, and our uh, somewhat uh, you know, vocal, mischievous uh, beagle Molly stepped onto this campus uh, last summer, uh, I could sense what a special place uh, Kings Point is. Uh, you know, we encountered a, a few midshipmen along the way as we walked around campus and took in the beautiful, uh, beautiful sunset. Uh, and there was just such a great energy here. Now, uh, granted, this uh, first foray uh, was an informal, possibly not fully sanctioned uh, visit, uh, which is all I will say about that. Uh, but you know, my instincts uh, as to how special this place is uh, were absolutely confirmed as I uh, later was actually invited um, back to spend time with Admiral Noonan and uh, her team and to visit with faculty and staff uh, to visit with the Marad headquarters uh, team, with alumni and parents, and of course uh, with the uh, with the midshipmen, and you know the sense of spirit, the level of appreciation for the history of the academy and the importance of our mission, uh, and the sense of pride were just so so palpable. Uh, as was everyone's desire to ensure that we continue to build a campus uh, and programs and a culture that set a standard of excellence befitting the importance of the work we are doing here to educate and graduate leaders of exemplary character who are inspired to serve the national security, marine transportation, and economic needs of the nation. Uh, now, I know, uh, I know there's more to that, but I will, <laughs> in the interest of time, uh, truncate. <laughs> now, I know there is no shortage uh, of work uh, to be done, uh, no shortage of opportunities uh, to get after here. Admiral Noonan mentioned uh, a few of those, uh, and I am truly looking forward to digging in across the board uh, with you, Admiral Noonan, and the rest of the team. So, uh, with all of that in mind, and uh, in the spirit of acta non verba, I will wrap up the remarks here. Um, but I do just want to say thank you again to all of you uh, for the honor of joining this team uh, and this truly remarkable Kings Point community. So I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you all again. All right. Thank you, Wolf. Our, helpful, our heartfelt thanks to everyone taking time to join us uh, for this momentous occasion. Uh, please join me once again in applauding Admiral Wolf and his family, this concludes our installation ceremony. Thank you all.